Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be tying up another bass jig in the color Fool's Gold. The tools that we're going to need is our uh, vise, a fine tipped pair of scissors, a bobbin, And then I have a uh, pair of, of snips that I use to, to cut the wire with. For supplies, we're going to need our silicone skirts, our black living rubber, the thread for our bobbin here, which I am using uh, 210 denier flat wax nylon and to wrap our jig we're going to be using 26 gauge wire all right the first step is to go ahead and secure your jig head in the vise uh, we already painted up our jig head here uh, you can see it's it's a black jig head and I, I threw some gold flake in it as well to kind of match our theme of uh, fool's gold All right, the next thing we'll need is our, our bobbin with thread, and we're gonna go ahead and throw down a, a base layer. And I like to finish that off with a uh, quick little loop knot here. And we'll cut off our excess. Now you'll need to grab one of your uh, silicone skirt tabs here, and we're going to lay that, you grab about kind of the middle point of it, right, right about here, and we're going to lay that on top. Once you kind of get it about the halfway point, we'll go ahead and secure that with a couple wraps. And once we have that secured, what I like to do is I like to look about halfway down the jig head to see, you make sure the silicone's halfway there, and then halfway on the other side, and if not, I, I kind of adjust it. So we got that the way we want. So now we'll grab our living rubber, and I'm actually going to break off a portion of it. Uh, in about, I don't know, about 10 strands or so. Something about like that. And I'll do that one more time. So we end up with three pieces from it, but we're only gonna end up using two of those. Now that we have our, our living rubber strand, we're gonna lay that on top. Again, finding kind of the halfway point here. And then we'll secure that on with a couple wraps. looking something like that at this point I like to uh, grab a little hair tie and secure the back part of it and then we're going to rotate our vise it's looking like that And 
now we need to grab our second silicone piece that we have here. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna find the, the halfway point of it. And place that where we've been wrapping. And then go ahead and do a couple wraps around. I did three wraps there, and then I'm going to secure that silicone with the hair tie again on the back just to keep it clean and out of my way. And now I like to look about the halfway point here, make sure that all, all of the uh, jig head is covered on both sides, which it is, so that's good. And then we'll grab our uh, second piece of living rubber, and we're going to place that on top, finding that halfway point again, and secure that on there with a couple wraps. And again, I like to use the, the hair tie or hair clip to, to kind of keep it clean. So should be looking something like that now. At this point, we're ready to uh, go ahead and finish up the tying process. Uh, I like to grab another hair tie here and secure the front half just to keep it all clean while we're tying. Then I rotate it back around, do a couple loops. All right, at this point, we're ready to go ahead and finish up tying. I like to do a, a whip finish knot. Uh, I do that by hand though. Uh, you can use a whip finishing tool to do that if you need. But I do four wraps. And that completes one. And I do one more. And that's two. And that, that is the uh, end of the thread here. We're, we're done with that. So I'm going to go ahead and snip that off. And now you'll need to grab your your wire and cut off about a, uh, uh, I would say maybe a 12 inch section. I like to, to have a little extra. So, got my wire here. We're gonna wrap that around. I typically do about three times. Pull that snug, and then we'll twist it. And then we grab our little wire snips here, and I like to cut fairly close, but just enough to at least fold it over. So you can see just little bits there, and then I'll press it down with my, my finger. So at this point we've uh, fully tied our jig and all we need to do now is separate the uh, individual uh, living rubber strands. So you'll have to take this and I, and I like to pull it tight and then use my fingernail to grab each of the individual strands and then I kind of pull it off to the side there to se fully separate it. Alright, now that our living rubber is all separated, we can go ahead and grab the silicone skirt tabs. And I like to pull down on these, and we'll use our scissors here. I like to slowly cut through it so that it all gets separated.
and take your jig out of the vise. I like to flip it upside down and kind of fan out the, uh, the skirt. See that there? The last step is to go ahead and glue in our, our fiber weed guard. So I like to use uh, some super glue for that. Us. And that is our completed jig. Um, you can obviously see the the skirt goes quite a bit past the the hook here, and you're you're free to to cut that up however you want, however short. Jig.